Howdy there, YouTube. Brother Briar joining you on Saturday afternoon. It is a rainy one. It has been gloomy, cold, and rainy. Which isn't a bad thing. It's a great day to sm uh, smoke a pipe, so... Enjoying that. I'm sitting outside the wharf where I am breaking in this new acquisition. This is a Lorenzo Spitfire. And as you can see, it's a straight billiard. It's got some nice straight grain as well as some flame grain in there. Pretty pipe. Got it for a pretty good price as well, so I'm pretty pretty happy about it. And to break it in, I am smoking some uh, Luxury Virginian Twist. I couldn't remember the name of it on the spot there, but Luxury Virginian Twist. It is a nice twist flake tobacco. It is sweet and nutty. There's not a lot of complexity to it, but it is, a, it is a very good smoke if you just want to relax, not have to think about it or even, you know, try to hunt for the different flavors of tobacco. I would say this is a very, it's a very good all day smoke, in my opinion. I will confess though that I did pack it too tightly. I always forget with flakes that I need to pack it even more loosely than I would a loose tobacco. A ribbon cut or something like that. But it's a good tobacco. I highly recommend it if you enjoy something a little nutty, sweet, cool burning. I don't know anybody that likes something that burns real hot. I don't know why I said if you like cool burning. I think everybody likes cool burning. So yeah, enjoying that. But I'm going to keep moving on because I have a lot of tobaccos here to show you. Uh, the next one uh, that I picked up here is Virginia Navy Flake. Um, I also have tried this before. I really enjoyed it and I'm getting low. But I don't know who the maker is. They just put their name, the wharf, on it, and they call it Virginia Navy Flake. I suspect that both of these flakes here are Stokeby because they were relatively inexpensive. They're quality, to, quality tobacco, quality flake tobacco, nonetheless. Um, so you got quality flake tobacco at a relatively inexpensive price. You know, to me that sounds like uh, that sounds like Stokeby, but they didn't comment on that, understandably. Again, excuse me, I packed it too tight, so I'm having a hard time keeping it lit. Okay, next up, for another bulk tobacco that I bought, and uh, you've seen me smoke it a lot the last year, I would say, um, and that is Cyprian Mixture. This is a nice English blend that has some subtle sweetness to it that reminds me of... Uh, Frogmorton Cellar. So if you like Frogmorton Cellar, I think you would like this Cyprian mixture. Check it out. Okay, moving on. I just got a wife a text from my wife, so she's like, are you coming home tonight? I'm like, Okay, yes, I'm coming home. I spent way too much time at the at the tobacco shop just browsing through the selection. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Can't help myself. Expect me to not, you know, come back in a half an hour? Please. It's like when I used to uh, go into Blockbuster. You know, it's like, okay, i got to look through every single movie before I make up my mind. All right, just chill. So, <laughs> Anyway, next up, Frog Morton, original frog on a log. This is what turned me on to English blends. If you have not tried this yet, go try it. If you have tried every other English blend and you hate them, you might not like this. But this is what turned me on to English blends. So if you haven't tried it, go try it. It's very mild, very uh, not overpowering English blend. Some English blends are so Latakia forward that it, it is almost a turn off. Um, this is not the case. This is very subtle, 
it could be an all day smoke if you like English blends. So enough said there. All right, these next two, and um, these are two that I have not tried, but I've heard a lot of good things about and have been popular in the community. So just a heads up, you've probably heard of these. Um, this first one is Samuel Gawith's Cabbies Mixture. Okay, I've not tried this yet, so I'm looking forward to giving you, giving you my thoughts on it. Um, but this says it's a roll cut tobacco with Perique. So I don't know really what to expect other than maybe a little bit of spiciness to it with the Perique. Um, that's the only tobacco that they mention on their tin label here. But uh, anyway, there you have it. Cabbie's mixture. Going to try it. Be on the lookout for my thoughts there. Last but not least is one of Match's favorites, and that's probably already a dead giveaway. So um, not even going to delay this one anymore. Cornell and Deals Haunted Bookshop. So looking forward to giving you my thoughts there. This one is a burly Virginia blend with a touch of Perique. So haven't tried it, but looking forward to, like I say, giving you my thoughts on that. All right, the wife is at home. She's getting hungry because she's having to smell some simmering chili that she's been making all afternoon. Um, I say all afternoon, it's probably been simmering the past couple of hours. But anyway, I'm gonna go home on this rainy day after enjoying a nice pipe gonna eat some chili so oh one last thing I took some video footage of the shop in here which I'll tack on to the end of this video um, they did stop me after a couple minutes because I think they get leery when people start taking video footage of their shop understandably so you never know what people are gonna try to do with a video um, so I got a couple uh, minutes of video um, but after they stopped me, just out of respect for them, I decided not to continue, even though they were okay with it. They looked up my video, my YouTube channel, um, just to verify that I am who I say I am, and that's what I intend to do with the footage. So um, I'll tack that on to the end of this now. So anyway, have a great weekend, and enjoy your Labor Day weekend. Be safe, have fun. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. And if you like my video, if not, I'm not offended if you don't want to subscribe. But uh, be sure to leave me some feedback, some comments, and we'll see you next time. God bless. See ya. So here we are at the wharf. Showing you the uh, selection of pipe tobaccos. Got a good selection of tins. There's some pipes, some meerschaums. Got a good selection of Peter signs. Uh, got a good selection of loose tobacco as well. Got some Dunhill. Got some of their own name brands, which are probably some of their, uh, probably another name that they put their, their name on it. So, separate next to that stuff is good. That's what I fell in love with in the last year. Some other good stuff here. Nightcap. This is all their non-aromatic tobaccos. Thank you. You guys have a good day. You do. We've got all the aromatic tobaccos over here. No sir. Do you mind? I'm just promoting your promoting your shop here. Got a YouTube channel and I'm right. Showing let, uh, let me make sure that it's did somebody already tell you it was okay? No. Okay, let me get this Okay, sure.